Hi friends, I'm Bulin. Welcome to mytechbits.com, a collection of my technical bits and pieces of information, online tools, calculators and converters. You are now watching mytechbit.com's video session. In this session, we will see where to download the SQL Server sample database called the Wild World Importers and install it or restore it to your SQL Server. The Wide World Importer Sample Database will be helpful for the beginners to play around the SQL Server features starting from SQL Server 2016. Now let's see about Wide World Importers Database in detail. The Wide World Importers Database is a sample SQL Server database released by Microsoft for beginners to learn the SQL Server with the sample data and database objects like the tables, indexes, triggers, store posture, functions, etc. Till SQL Server 2014, Microsoft released sample databases in the name of fictional cycle manufacturing company called AdventureWorks. After the release of SQL Server 2016, a new sample database has been introduced. It's called Wide World Importers. It is meant for standard online transaction processing scenarios. This sample database and the data is developed for a fictional company called Wide World Importers. There are different types of sample databases for different editions of SQL Server 2016. Based on the edition of your SQL Server, you have to choose from them. The artifact named as Wide World Importers Full.Bag. It's a full database for OLTP and HTAP in backup format. This sample database is for the SQL Server Enterprise Edition, Developer Edition and the Evolution Edition. The Wide World Importers DW-Full.Bag Octifert is a full data warehouse sample database for OLAP in backup format. This data warehouse sample is also for SQL Server Enterprise, Developer and Evolution Edition. The artifacts ending with standard.bag are sample OLAP and OLTP databases for standard editions of SQL Server in backup format. The artifacts ending with standard.bac.pac are sample standard OLTP and OLAP databases for Azure SQL Server database engine. They are in backpack format. Other than the database backup files, there are scripts and tools which can be used along with the sample database. The daily etl.ispac file is a SQL Server integration service package for extraction, transaction and load from both the OLTP and OLAP database samples. This etl package works for all the editions of SQL Server 2016. The sample script.zip file has a collection of sample scripts for experimenting the features of SQL Server using the data and the objects in Wide World Importers database. Finally, the workload drivers.zip has a sample Windows application executables to be used along with the Wide World Importers database. You can download the sample databases from the GitHub website. You can see the download URL in the screen. I also provided the URL in the description below. In the download page, you can see all the different types of artifacts available for download. I am downloading the basic OLTP sample database for my developer edition of SQL Server 2016. The file name is Wide World Importers Full.Back. The backup file will be on the top of the artifact list. It will be around 120 MP in size. Just click on the link to download. The download is now complete and the backup file is in the default download folder. To install or restore the sample database, place the backup file under the SQL Server 2016's default backup folder. On a 64-bit operating system, the default backup folder will be in C, Program Files, Microsoft SQL Server, MS SQL 13 dot MS SQL server, then MS SQL, and finally backup folder. Now log in to the SQL Server Management Studio. In the Object Explorer, right click the database folder and select Restore Database. In the Restore Database screen, choose Devices and click the ellipsis button. This will launch the backup device selection window. 
In the device selection window, press Add button to launch the file dialog. The file dialog will open the default SQL Server backup location. As we have already placed the backup file in that location, just select the backup file in the file dialog and press OK. Again press OK in the device selection window. Now the restore database window is filled with the details of the database to be restored from the backup. Press the OK button in restore database window. The sample database backup is restored as a new database called Wide World Importers. You can see the new database in the Object Explorer under the Database folder. The sample Wide World Importers database is now ready. You can use this database to run your queries and learn SQL Server functionalities. With this, I am concluding this session. If you like this video session, do subscribe my channel and share it with your friends. Also join us in social networks like Facebook and Google+. For more technical articles, online tools, calculators, and converters, check out my website mytechbits.com. M Y T E C B I T S dot com. See you again with some more interesting technical sessions. Until then, bye bye.